kids in here. Good morning, brothers and sisters, friends. My name is Fitzroy Thomas, pastor for the Brownstone Tabernacle, one of the member churches of the Jamaica Evangelistic Mission. Welcome to the daily devotional series hosted by the Greater Portmore, Spanish Town, and Kingston Tabernacles. There are also churches, branches of the Jamaica Evangelistic Mission. This morning, I extend special greetings to Reverend Linville Lewis, the pastor for those churches, and Sister Anne-Marie Lewis, his wife, the deacons and the leaders of all those churches. I want to welcome all those who have joined us on Facebook Live, probably Instagram Live, wherever you are, here in Jamaica, or wherever you are around the world, welcome. God bless you as we share together in these few moments. Please turn with me in your Bibles to Psalm 37, verse 7a. Psalm 37, verse 7a. The, and as soon as I read this portion, I'll be sharing a song with you. J just probably 30 seconds from a song by Dr. Juanita Bynum. I don't mind waiting. But let me just read these verses first. This part of the verse first. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Hallelujah. So let's listen to a portion of this song. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't I don't mind waiting on you, Lord. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on you, Lord. Praise God. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on the Lord. Hallelujah. I'd like to share with us this morning on the topic, while we are waiting, God is working. While we are waiting, God is working. You know, waiting is hard. We twiddle our thumbs when we wait. We shuffle our feet, stifle our yawns, have long sighs, and fret inwardly in frustration. You know, we really don't like to wait. We don't like lines. We like instant coffee. We like to get through right away. We, our palms sweat. We get nervous when we wait. We don't like waiting. May I invite us to reflect on two main points this morning. I want us to examine the exploration of the theme and the explanation of the text. That's the exploration of the theme and the explanation of the text. So first of all, 
let's examine the exploration of the theme. The theme is, while we are waiting, God is working. What does the word waiting mean? The action of staying where one is or delaying action until a particular time or event. The action of staying where one is or delaying action until a particular time or event. It is said that there are two kinds of waiting. And I was just nudged in my spirit just before, just before I go any further. Let, let's just pray. Father, thank you for this morning. Thank you for spending our lives to see today. As we spend these moments in your word, cause your word to come alive in our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So there are two kinds of waiting. Passive waiting and active waiting. Passive waiting is waiting with expectation, but no action. Example, when we go to a restaurant, we place our order, and we pause to be served. Yes? No. That's one kind of waiting. We don't get up and go in the, 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 the restaurant to help to prepare. We, we, we ask that we, we just sit and wait. We just sit and wait. There's another kind of waiting, which is active waiting. Active waiting. Active waiting is waiting with expectation, but engaged in prayer. Engaged in prayer and fasting. Engaged in the reading and applying of God's word. During COVID-19 pandemic, this COVID-19 pandemic, many persons are waiting, especially the St. Catherine residents who are waiting anxiously yes, for the lockdown to be lifted. Others of us are waiting on God for answers to our prayers. And some of us are wait, getting anxious. Some of us have been praying for a long time. Some of us are trusting God for breakthroughs in some areas. Probably in our families. In our personal lives. We're trusting God. But God has asked me to tell us this morning, while you are waiting, he is working. Hallelujah. While we're waiting, he's working. And I want us to focus on the topic this morning. While we're waiting, God is working. Tell somebody beside you, while we're waiting, God is working. May I suggest three ways in which God works? Now, let's explore the word work, working. The word working. Mm, God is working. Means that God he is functioning for our benefit. God is functioning for our benefit. How does God work? May I suggest three ways in which God works while we are waiting? Number one, God works on or in us. God works on or in us. Sometimes the change we desire, God has to begin that change in us. The Apostle Paul in 2 Corinthians 12 prayed three times for God to remove the thorn that was in his flesh. But God responded in verse 9, 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9, Listen to Paul. He said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. In light of God's answer, 
Paul said, most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Hallelujah. Sometimes God's work, while we're waiting, God is working. And sometimes God works on or in us. We want change. We want situations to change. We want other people to change. But sometimes, while we're waiting on God to answer the prayer in the way we expect, God is working and sometimes he works on us or in us. Yes, to bring change. So Paul wanted the thorn to be removed. But God says, my grace is sufficient. God gave him the grace. The grace to cope yes because sometimes it's the grace we need the strength we need the courage we need sometimes the change we need for the situation to change it is our attitude that needs to change our actions that need to change our approach that needs to change and so sometimes God's answer to our prayer while we're waiting on that answer God is working on us or in us. May God work on you. May God work on me today. Another way God works. So not only does God work on or in us, but God works for us. So sometimes while we're waiting, God is working for us. Sometimes God works for us. And I, I want you to Go back with me to Genesis and God goes ahead of us and destroys the enemy, our enemies sometimes. Do you remember Pharaoh? How after God delivered his people out of Egypt, Pharaoh wanted to enslave them again. So he pursued them to capture them again. After they crossed the Red Sea, Moses stretched forth his rod and the sea covered Pharaoh's army, and they all drowned. I want you to understand something. Your enemies, my enemies, our enemies, yes? They don't know that it is God who works for us. They don't know that. They don't know that when they trouble us, they trouble God. When they're fighting against us, they fight against God. And one of the things we must tell them is that if you trouble if you trouble me, you trouble God. And if you trouble God, God will trouble you. Because God is working for me. Oh, I wish somebody would, would tell somebody, don't trouble me. Because if you trouble me, you trouble God. And one of the things I want you to know is that God works for me. Hallelujah. And this morning, I want you to go to work. I want you to sit at your desk. I want you in your home or wherever you are. I want you to rejoice this morning because God works in you while you're waiting for him. But God also works for you while you're waiting for him. While you're waiting on him. God does not only work in us and for us, but guess what? Thirdly, God works through us. Sometimes God's answer to our prayer is to work through us. So sometimes we are praying that God would, would, would do something. Do something for somebody. That God would help them. That God would provide for them. And you know what God does? God works through us to bless them. God works through us. Yes? In Romans 12 and verse 20. Hear God. Therefore if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. God is about to bring change to our enemies. And God says, you know what? I'm going to bring the change, but I'm going to work through you. Hallelujah. Somebody you know who hates you. Somebody who you know has been despising and treating you badly. You need to bless them. Bless them today. Bless them. Call them. And tell them God bless you. Call them, tell them, I forgive you. Hallelujah. And God is going to work through you. 
So we we have made an exploration. We've looked at an exploration of the theme. While we're waiting, God is working. Let me now look at the explanation of the text. And I have to do that quickly before we pray. The text says, that's Psalm 37, 7a, says, Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. The word rest means be silent, be still, Lord Jesus. When you're waiting on God, the text says we are to rest. And the word rest means, there's a, there's a meaning there which means to be dumb, be silent, be still. If you're waiting on God, don't grumble. If you're waiting on God, don't complain. Don't quarrel. Be silent. Be still. Why? You see, we're resting in the Lord. Resting in the Lord. Who is the Lord? Because you know what? Sometimes we are waiting on individuals. And depending who the individual is, the posture we display during our waiting is really dependent on who on whom we're waiting. Wow. Well, let's explore who we're waiting on. So the psalmist says, be still, be dumb, be silent. Yes? Rest in the Lord. Who's the Lord? The Lord is the self-existent one. The one who exists by himself, who does not whose existence does not depend on anybody else, whose existence everybody else depends on, Lord, who everybody else's existence depends on him, but his existence depends on nobody. He exists all by himself. Not only is he the self-existent one, but he's the eternal one, the one who always was, the one who always is, and will always be. Lord Jesus. So before you and I came here, he was here. Long after we are gone, he will still be here. So before your problem, your situation, your circumstances came, hallelujah, he was here. And so, because he's always here, he's ahead of the trouble. When the trouble comes, he's still here, hallelujah. And he will deliver you and deliver me out of our troubles. He will give us the grace to go through our troubles. Wait, be still. Be silent on the Lord. But, but, but he's not only the self-existent one. He's not only the, not only is he the eternal one, but he's the creator. Lord Jesus, hear this now, people of God. Those who are listening to me this morning, you're to wait, rest in God, be still. Why? Because he's the creator. To create means to bring into being out of nothing. So all God needs to do for you this morning and for me is to speak the word. When he speaks his word, his words are creative words. So they do what he commands, what he desires. And so it doesn't matter what your situation is this morning. Oh, Lord Jesus, you just need God to speak a word on your behalf. And the matter, the situation will be resolved. Hallelujah. It does not matter what you're faced with this morning. The Lord is the self-existent one. He is the eternal one, but he's the creator. He will speak a word and give you victory this morning. I'm excited about the word. My time is gone. But we are to wait. So rest in the Lord. Wait patiently for him. Wait patiently means... That we are to stay. We are to tarry. <laughs> just, just easy yourself. Yes. And, and then it, uh, there's, another, there's another meaning to waiting patiently. Yeah. On the Lord it means to travail with pain. So sometimes while you and I are waiting. Yeah. We have to go into to, to prayer. Into intercession. But. But. And, and, and we will, we will, it may cause us pain and, 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 wow. But while we're waiting patiently, we are to trust him. Have our confidence fixed in him. 
Hallelujah. So we have, the, the, the challenge this morning is to, is while we are waiting, God is working. While we are waiting, God is working. We have made an exploration of the theme. Yes? God is, we, we, we said that there are two kinds of waiting. Active waiting, passive waiting, and active waiting. We have said that God works on or in us. God works for us. And God works through us. And we have looked at the explanation of the text. We are to rest in the Lord. Be silent. Be still. Because the Lord is the self-existent one. He's the eternal one. He's the creator. And so just wait patiently. Be still, yeah? Just stay where you are. Just tarry, travail. Prostrate yourself before him. Call on him. And just trust him. Because he will come through. He will come through for us. This morning, let's pray. We want to pray for some people who are waiting this morning. We think of that young lady who, who died after giving birth because she was initially denied medical treatment. We think of her family this morning. We want to lift them up. We want to lift them up before the Lord. We, we think of our country. We think of our our government this morning, the Ministry of Health, um, the cases are increasing daily. We're praying for grace this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you. We want to thank you for this day. Thank you for sparing our lives. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your faithfulness this morning. Thank you that you're a God who hears and answers prayer. You're a God who can be touched by the feelings of our infirmities. We thank you this morning that you're alive and well. We thank you that you are, you are the God of gods the king of kings the lord of lords there's none to be compared to you you're worthy of our praises this morning and we exalt you we lift you up and we magnify you none to be compared to you you say we are to call and you will answer Oh, Lord God, and shows great and mighty things which we know not of. This morning we come, oh God, on behalf of our nation. We come on behalf of that family. Oh God, that young lady who died. We, we lift up her family before you this morning. Lord Jesus, we pray for her baby. She is left behind. Oh, we pray, Lord God, that you'll touch this baby and you'll cause this baby to grow up. Oh, to make a difference in this nation. Mighty God, we pray for her family. We pray for grace and strength for them as they grieve, as they mourn this great loss. Oh God, in the midst of their pain and their struggles, we pray you will manifest yourself, that they will trust you, love you, and serve you. We pray for them. We pray, oh God, for our Prime Minister, we pray for the cabinet ministers. We pray especially for Dr. Christopher Tufton, our health minister, and all the health workers. Mighty God, the fear that they are faced with this morning as the cases are rising, we pray for grace for them. We pray for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We pray that as they do the contact tracing, Lord God, as they, we, we, we pray for them. We pray for the Alorica workers who are in quarantine and isolation, who, who, who are stigmatized. We really pray for grace for them this morning. We pray for their families, oh God. And we pray for all those who are in quarantine and isolation. Lord, those who are, who are receiving medical treatment this morning. We pray for them and we pray for your healing. We pray for your healing in the name of Jesus and that you would cause them to overcome. We pray, Lord God, for the government this morning, for the wisdom, the knowledge and understanding that is necessary to navigate through these choppy waters of COVID-19. Jesus of mercy, it's not easy. We heard 
some, some, some wonderful suggestions coming from our opposition leader and we pray for him we pause to pray for him now we pray for his healing and deliverance in the name of jesus oh god not well but we pray for his healing we pray for his shadow cabinet lord god we pray for them this morning that you'll grant them the grace and strength because we need all hands on deck in jamaica government opposition we need all hands on deck we pray for every counselor every mayor Lord God, we pray for, for, for our governor general. We pray for the custodies this morning. Hallelujah. We lift them up before you, Lord God. All those who are in leadership in this nation. We pray, Father, for the pastors. Lord Jesus, the churches. During this pandemic, most churches are closed. But we thank you. Most church buildings are closed. <laughs> Hallelujah. But we are the church. So wherever we are, there is church. Hallelujah. Thank you that we can have church online. <laughs> we can have church in our homes. We can, we're still having church. Hallelujah. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your power. We pray for, for a special anointing on your servants today. Oh God, as we carry out ministry in this COVID-19 pandemic season. We pray for a fresh anointing. We pray, Lord God, for a fresh anointing as we proclaim the word of God. We pray for every sinner. We pray for every backslider that they'll return to Jesus, that during this time, the spirit of God will draw men and women, boys and girls to the cross. Oh God, we pray for salvation. We pray for the believers, wherever they are, oh God, whatever their denomination, we pray for them this morning that their faith will not fail. We pray that they, they will walk, they'll walk in the light. Oh God, they'll walk in your word. They'll stand on your word. Oh God, they will seek to walk in holiness and righteousness. Father, we pray for provision in this time. Oh, some people have lost their jobs. Some people have been laid off. Oh, Jesus. We pray for provision. Lord God, some people, people are wondering how their rent will be paid now. How the, how the utility bills will be paid now. Jesus, have mercy. Hear our cry, mighty God of heaven. We need, we need an answer. We need an intervention from the, the God of heaven, the eternal God, the self-existent God, the creator God. Oh, make a way out of nowhere this morning. Somebody's anxious. But Lord, we remind them. You told us to, to inform them, to remind them that while they're waiting, you're working. You're making a way out of nowhere. Somebody who lost their job or who has been laid off. Oh God, the answer is still with them because they just need to do something differently. Store up, store up the gift in them, God, that they may start a new industry, they may start a new occupation, they may start something, because what gift, the gift they have, somebody needs the use of that gift. Praise God. And Father, oh Lord God, we just pray for healing. You know what, God, in this pandemic, in this lockdown, we have to spend more time together. Oh, if truth be told, some of us were so busy that we weren't spending much time together. We ask in the name of Jesus that during this time, there'll be peace, there'll be restoration, there'll be love, there'll be forgiveness. Oh, in families, bring families together, oh God. As we are forced to spend time together, Jesus, may we re-evaluate re our relationship. May we re-evaluate our actions, our words. We ask your blessings. We ask your blessings, Lord God, on every family. We think of those who are listening to me this morning and who are watching. We ask your blessings. We ask your blessings on us today. Watch over us, Lord. Be with us, we pray. And we give you all the glory and all the honor. In Jesus' name. Amen. My brothers and sisters, 
have a great day with a great God. And remember, one.